Hello, friends. Welcome to your system fixer. In today's video, I'll show you how to install Windows 7 in Windows 11 or 10 using a virtual machine. Here, you can easily install Windows 7 using Vimware Workstation. So, we need to download Windows 7 ISO and Vimware Workstation Pro 17. You can get the download links from the description area of the video. Since Windows 7 has reached its end of life, on January the 14th, 2020, Microsoft now doesn't offers the ISO file. If you still want to use Windows 7 on your PC, you need to download the ISO from other trusted sources. Archive Org is a non-profit digital library that has been around since 1996. It is a member of the American Library Association and is at the forefront of digital archiving. So, downloading Windows 7 ISO from the library is safe and trustworthy. OK, now let's open your browser and visit the Windows 7 ISO download site in archive.org. Scroll down a bit. There will be an ISO image button. Click the ISO image button to expand it. Then you'll find three types of Windows 7 ISO files. Choose one based on your preference. Here, I take Win 764 bit ISO as an example. Click it and select a location to save the file. You can find the ISO file is 3 GB in size, which may take a while to download depending on your internet speed. OK, let's start installing it in your virtual machine. Launch your Vimware workstation to get its main interface. In this video, I'll perform the Windows 7 installation on Vimware Workstation Pro Edition. The operation may vary slightly depending on the edition. Let's click Create a new virtual machine. Then select the typical option to create a virtual machine in a few easy steps. And click Next. Select I will install the operating system later. And click Next. Select Microsoft Windows and choose Windows 7 x 64 from the list. Name the virtual machine and click Next if you don't want to change the location of the VM. Here, type the maximum disk size. I have a 60 GB size. Then choose the way to store the virtual disk and click Next. Click Finish. After that, you can customize the virtual machine settings, if you need, such as the number of processors and the memory size. OK, now, the most important thing is to go to the CD, DVD option. Make sure to select Use ISO Image File and browse the Windows 7 ISO file you downloaded. Then confirm it. Click here to power on this virtual machine. Windows 7 installation will start. You may have to wait for 15 to 20 minutes. Now the virtual machine will restart. Let's start the process. Set up your language and keyboard and confirm that. Click Install Now. Then accept the license terms. Determine the type of installation you want. And choose where you want to install the system. Then, the process you need to wait for the most is about to begin. Once installed, set up a username and a password for your account on the PC. Here, you skip this step if you don't have a product key. Set up the time zone and network type. Wow! Windows 7 has been installed successfully on the virtual machine. Now you can right-click the empty space on your desktop and select screen resolution. After that, 
Select the resolution 1920 x 1080. So, Windows 7 will be full screen. You can see it is working very smoothly. Then you can click Suspend Guest, so that you can quickly close the virtual machine, and restore it later. In addition, I recommend you install the VMware tools, to enhance the performance, and functionality of your virtual machine such as copying files from your guest and pasting them into the virtual machine. Just press the windows and the keys at the same time to open the run box. Then execute the d backslash setup exe command and follow the on-screen prompt to install it. That's all. Using VMware Workstation, in this way, Windows 7 can be installed on both a desktop and a laptop, Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you have an old laptop or PC, you can install Windows 7 even with 2GB RAM, and it works very smoothly in a virtual machine. Like this, don't hesitate to thumb up and share it. To master more Windows PC tech tips, Hit that subscribe button.